We have live team coverage tonight, beginning with KKL 9's Rachel Kim. She's live at Caltech in Pasadena with more. Rachel? Glenn, this is the largest earthquake in the Southern California Baja area since the Landers quake back in 1992. That was a 7.3 quake. Today's a 7.2. Seismologists tell us they have recorded a number of aftershocks, uh, several more than a dozen magnitude four so far, but they say not all have been recorded. Now, they say this is not really a reason for concern, but they are shocked that the last 15 years or so have been so quiet. And about 30 minutes ago, Caltech seismologist Kate Hutton gave us an update on the aftershocks shocks we can expect this week. Well, for a magnitude 7.2 earthquake, aftershocks go on for years, uh, but the most active time period is right now and within the next week or two or three weeks. Uh, aftershocks will become progressively less frequent with time uh, and eventually will become pretty much unnoticeable by the population. Could we, uh, have, hmm? could we have an aftershock larger than that 7.2? Theoretically, it's possible, but uh, the size of the maximum earthquake depends on the size of the fault and how much fault there, is, how much fault surface area there is available, and uh, there may not be a, a place for a much larger earthquake there. We expect our biggest earthquakes, our eights, seven, or upper sevens, earthquakes would be on the San Andreas fault, um, and not these other faults. But uh, there could possibly be a quake that's slightly larger than this. Okay, with what these aftershocks, what magnitudes are we talking about? For a magnitude 7 earthquake, normally there's a, at least one magnitude 6 earthquake and maybe 10 magnitude 5s. So it's possible to have significant size aftershocks um, that can cause further damage. Okay, to, to compare this, is that possible to other ones we've known about in Northridge? Or Oh, it's much larger than the Northridge earthquake. It's not too much different than the uh, Landers earthquake in 1992, um, which maybe you don't remember because it was out in the desert and it didn't affect a huge population. But uh, we do have earthquakes of this size from time to time in this active geologic plate boundary. Well, it's normal for people at, uh, at, that, at this distance to feel quakes of this size. That's uh, because they're strong and they put out, uh, they cause very strong vibrations in the crust and they reach out pretty far away from the epicenter. Right after the earthquake hit this afternoon, we got several phone calls from our viewers who told us they felt a strong rolling motion. So I asked seismologists here what that meant. They say you'll feel a rolling motion the further you are out from the quake. The closer you are, the stronger, more jolt, short jerks you'll feel. Now, in terms of the epicenter, right now, authorities here believe it may, the, it may be the Laguna Salada fault system. But to know for sure, authorities will have to look for surface rupture and look at the aftershocks and where they all line up. They say, again, this is not really a big cause for concern, but it should be a good reminder that Southern Californians certainly need to be prepared. Reporting live from Caltech, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News.